So in the interview, they can ask you a lot of questions, right? One of those questions could be, what is your process for eliciting requirements? And that is pretty broad question, right? How do you answer this if you've never worked in the field before? You've never actually had a process to elicit requirements. What would you say? Well, I'm here to help you. So in a question like this, it's pretty tough. I would admit it's a pretty tough question, but they really want to see how you think. They want to understand your mindset. They want to understand your approaches. And so you need to give them that clear picture, paint a picture for them of how you would take it step by step to um, get the requirements there. So the first thing you need to do when you're eliciting requirements is you need to figure out what the problem is. Why are you trying to solve? What are you trying to solve? And what is the issue that's being faced right now? So you first you need to figure out what the problem is. You need to spend some time to figure out who are the people that can tell you more about the problem. So you figure out who those stakeholders are to talk to them. You need to do all of your techniques, right? Your document analysis, your role play, your observation, your stakeholder interviews, all of these things you do. And it depends on what the problem is to determine which technique you'll use. But you'll use a variety of techniques to understand the as is state, to understand the problem and the domain in which you're working in. And when that's done, you now have a clearer picture of what the requirements should be. Because as you look at what they're doing right now, then you can extract from that what the problems are with what's currently being done. And that would lead to what the requirement should be to help alleviate this problem, to help resolve this problem. Once you come up with your solutions and the things that you think could be best to improve on this problem, you won't take the decision alone. You now take it to the team, have discussions, and try to finalize on what the exact requirements need to be and what we are approving and what we are prioritizing to solve for. So that's a picture of how you would elicit your requirements, it really starts with understanding the problem thoroughly and then working upwards from there. All right, that's an example of how you could answer that question. Now in my consult, I really go in much, much more detail. I give you concrete examples, things that you should be calling out and it just goes into more detail. So consider booking that consult with me for um, the Business Analyst Interview Success Blueprint. But in general, you want to answer these questions by giving them a clear picture in a very short, concise way of how you take it from big picture, big idea, all the way down into detailed requirements, right? So they can see how you would do it for them in their role. That's why you're interviewing, right? You want to tell them how you would do it for them. So that's how you answer the question. And again, check out carlis.com for more on these kinds of interview questions. And I hope to see you in the next video. All right, so thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.